Randy tried to get somebody to buy his groceries what? when he first moved to his spot. He tried to make sure he got everything covered. Y'all, I am live. Hey, Anna. And I mess up. Mandaz. Hey, Miss Mandaz. Hey, Andre. Hey, Grace. Hey, Bill. Guys, I know I'm late. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Ashton. Hey, NJ. Hey, Special K. Hey, Chocolate. I'm late. Hey, R. Smith. Yes. Hey, J. King. Hey, Latanya. What time is it? I'm not late by that much, right? 100% pure love. Hey, hey, Latanya. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Jean. Y'all, I was I was getting to sleep in. Yes, happy Saturday morning to everyone. Yes, y'all. I'm looking a hot mess. I didn't even get y'all. I didn't even get ready really. Um. Good morning, Miss Slaughter or oh, Mr. Slaughter. She trying to um. And I eat this up early in the morning, being bad. She's like, and I eat you being bad. Hey, Jocelyn. Yeah, we had fun at tears. Uh, we, um, I surprised her. She didn't know we was coming. I surprised her because, you know, that was my sister's 50th birthday. Wasn't going to let her go out like that. Oh, you gotta get the broom of dust pan, Andrew. And in the trash bag or something. Good morning, good morning. Right. <laughs> I don't gotta worry about looks. Oh uh, my family. Hey y'all, so let's get this thing started. You know what we do? Before we do, we'll talk about anything, y'all. Let's go for it. Like, if you didn't do it this morning or yesterday, we're about to do it today. I'd like to thank God for waking us up and spending another day with our family and friends. Because remember, that long clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Yes. Hey, I'm natural by nature. How you doing? Get an amen, y'all. I know we ain't do it on our own. Without that man waking us up, we will not be here every day. Hey, um, 165, how you doing? You The broomers out there, or the, the, the red broom out there. Good morning. I think, uh, and especially these days, and that's one of my topics about, especially these days, I have to be thankful. But before we get started, guys, this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to show you guys something. Yeah, I might be reading off teleprompt, but, um, guys, so look, y'all know the holidays is coming up, and everybody that had a lot of birthdays, and we got granddaughters and, and grandkids, and even treat ourselves, so, and I got my sister one, but I ain't gonna tell her yet, um, she gonna know, yeah, cause she, is she looking at, I don't think she's looking, but it ain't come yet, cause I just did, I just thought about doing it, and I did it at the last minute, so guys, I hooked up with this company called, um, Yay Feeny, Yay Feeny, and they make customized jewelry, and yes, they make customized jewelry at reasonable prices and everything, and, um, I, and, um, I had a sofa tea bracelet made. For myself, it's an affinity, not bracelet, necklace. It's an affinity necklace that I have made, um, and I just love it. I'm going to put it on. I guess I might have placed it on my neck. But it's like a 16 to 20 inch chain link that it comes in. This is the name of the company right here, guys. Reasonable prices, reasonable prices. And this is a birthday gift to myself. <laughs> This is my birthday gift, early birthday gift to myself. So, guys, yeah, this is so, I really love this. And I'm going to leave everything to this in the description below. It's an offensive necklace. It has soulful tea on it with the flowers and everything. Before the show over, I'll take it out. But it's a birthday gift to myself. And I actually just did my sister one. A, my birthday is in two weeks, September 28th. And I just did my sister one. And if you guys wanted to get you any type of infinity necklace, they do. Customized earrings, necklace, bracelets. And the, and the shipment is really, really 
fast. And it comes like in yellow gold, white gold, rose gold. Um, you could get it. And um, like I said, the packaging is really pretty. Um, once you order it right, it takes about three to five business days for them to customize it and seven to ten days oh, after wow. that for shipping but it came real cute and i'm gonna take out the package at towards the end you guys can stay towards the end yes yes and um and like i said they are reasonable prices now if you i'm gonna leave everything in the description below after this video go off y'all and um what happens is that if you order over twenty dollar plus, and which you will, so I think this right here, to be honest, I think this next is like forty dollars. Like I think it was forty dollars. I believe it was forty dollars. Look at that. And it says soulful tea, and look how long it is. And this is this is the white. This is the white gold. Cause you know it's almost like silver. Yes, and I got my name on it. And my sister won't gonna say new life journey. She may not Tia don't go back and look at it, so she don't know. She ain't gonna know. Tia don't go back and look at my lives. So my sister's one gonna say new life journey that I placed the order with for hers. And you know, to support her channel. And guys, if you go again, if you order twenty dollars plus, you'll get twenty percent off. Like I said, the shipping is really fast. Three to five business days for your um customized and again they do bracelet rings earrings uh photo necklaces and also they do photo necklaces what? too guys but everything put up with the description below isn't this beautiful oh, no, yes oh you want this baby girl because i'll get my granddaughter's one too <laughs> i'll get sahara one oh, goofy no, baby and i'm getting um my oh, baby no, girl way. one but i'm getting them bracelets though oh here you go I'm getting them bracelets, though. I'm getting them matching bracelets, one with each one of their names on it. Because so their birthday is coming up. And like Sahara birthday, y'all, my Goofy Baby birthday next week. The 18th. The 18th. Goofy Baby be four years old. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's my Goofy Baby be four years old. And I'm getting my getting her one of these for her birthday, but I'm getting her the bracelet, and I'm getting my other granddaughter her the bracelet, and I'm getting both of them in rose gold for them. Yes. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys and let you guys know if you order anything or twenty percent, um, you get um, you get twenty percent off. And everything, but everything will be in the description below. Like I said, it's customized your bracelets, your ring, your earrings, and they even have um photo necklaces. And again, so all in all, three to five business days for the customization, and then seven to ten days for the um shipping. And you guys is gonna love it. I love it. So uh, that's the FYI, what's going on. I want you guys to see that. And, um, because holidays is coming. And I know you got granddaughters. And what's that? I'll say, please hold the up again. The letters were up. It was upside down. Oh, I'm so blind. Is it, is it right now? Oh, no. No, <laughs> it's like that. And like this is called Infinity Necklace. And look how long. Oh, I reckon you saw selling your paintings at the end of your paint. Oh, for real? There you go. But um, as soon as we get off, you know, by this being live, I have to go and place everything in the neck in, in the description. But as soon as I end this, I'll go place everything in the description. Thank you, Chili. <laughs> um, yeah, so this I want to talk to you guys about. Um, my week. You know, Friday was lovely. You know, we did the um live sit and paint. And believe it or not, if a lot of people don't know, I needed that on Friday. Because if you guys notice, you only got two um oh uh, white paint. Um, you only got two um videos this week two food videos and of course we did the last sip of paint yesterday but i'm gonna tell you something <laughs> oh okay thank you all oh, the yeah and here you go right here because y'all know i probably pronounced it wrong right 
You know I probably pronounced it wrong. I always pronounce mess things up. I just can't have mean pronunciation things. Just ain't getting there. Hey, Lynn. Uh, I'm doing good. Glad to see you back. I tell y'all. Y'all a bunch of good soul squads and TT squads. I got to call y'all TT squads too. I'm not mad that I got to call y'all TT squads. And that's just because you guys have supported my sister YouTube journey. Oh my God. You guys have been there for her. Thanks for all the blessings you guys blessed her with um, last night for her birthday today. And, um, you know, from the beginning, you guys said, Hey, Tennessee, Nikki, um, you guys have been there. And I just want to say thank you for blessing all of my family's channels. If I give you guys a friend or family channel, you guys support unconditionally. And that's why I love y'all. I told somebody, man, I got the best. If I don't keep telling you guys, I got the best subscribers on YouTube. The best subscribers on YouTube, man. And I just want to let you know that I am so great, grateful to you guys for that. You guys are the best. Um, so, um, my content this week is slow. It's only been two videos this week. And I just want, I, and I want, and you know what? And I thought about it, I said, I don't nobody want to, um, hear this hear that but you know what it may be somebody barbecue meatloaf out there who who um who's going through the same thing who could, who could relate to what um what what i've been through this week so basically i don't know if i ever told you guys that i had sleep apnea and you know i just messed it up you know i just messed it up i had sleep apnea and so um Along with this um, sleep, I'm saying sleeping disorder, I'm not going to say sleeping disease, it's a sleeping disorder where that, you know, you don't breathe at night, but the case, I don't care, but mine is like a very mild case, I was told that, but regardless whether or not they say it's mild or it's severe, just stop breathing during the night, it's hectic, and that's why I always give thanks to the fact that if I don't get thanks about anything, I have to give thanks to God that, you know, he put your PayPal address to send you a birthday present. Oh, thank you, Debbie. But my birthday now to the twenty eighth, September the twenty eighth, and we gonna have a. Um, but thank you so much for thinking about me. Um, I'm having a Zoom. I'm having a live party here on YouTube. If I did, I'm placing the community page. It's on a Monday, and we are gonna party Monday night on my birthday. <laughs> yeah, my mama gonna be here too. My mama sitting over here right now. Her and my grand, her and my grandbaby. My babies. Look at them, y'all. Y'all got your stuff everywhere. Hi. They got my grandbaby. Say hi, y'all. Say hi. In our east. In our east. Say hi. hi. Yeah, I did do the sleep study, Smith Smith. She, she said hi, y'all. She said she said hi, Gigi. Hi, baby. Mama Jackie, everybody say hey. Hey. My birthday be next month. October, we're going to party. We're going to have a Zoom party. We're going to have a live YouTube party for Grandma's birthday. Grandma of Libra, too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Mama Jackie came over to help me with the dinners, y'all. She doing the cabbage for tomorrow. And y'all know, y'all seen, like, thank you, Nancy. Y'all seen that cabbage video with Mama Jackie. She not make that cabbage because I told y'all, it's a lot of things. That I um I can't do, and I told y'all I don't mess with the cabbage. But lately I've been making cabbage. Everybody said my cabbage been coming out good, but since I'm selling dinners, I ain't trying to mess it up. I want to make sure make sure it come out perfection, cause my mother don't have no issues with cabbage. Whenever she make cabbage, her cabbage come out good. So I said, Ma, please come over and make my cabbage for tomorrow. Because, you know, I make cabbage. And every now and then, it may come out good. It may not. But lately, my cabbage been on point. But, um, um, but, um, but, but, um, I just don't want to take no chances. Because I don't want no bad reviews. So I, ain't taking no, so I don't even want to take no chances on that. No, I ain't said. I said I was gonna cut it up, and I want you to cook it. Oh, that's what it was. That's what I said. Cause we, can, I said, man, Janine oh. gonna do the sweet. We gonna peel the sweet potatoes, and we are gonna cut oh. the cabbage. And I said, I, can you cook the cabbage for me? Cause oh, I, I cause I ain't trying to take no chances, and I don't want no bad reviews. Oh. <laughs> cause sometimes it be I'm good. Okay, so what else they say? Um, 
the sleep apnea. Don't get so, it, um, Daddy gonna this week it's been bothering me. Um, you've been like, it's been bothering you, but you've been woke. Okay, this is the thing about sleep apnea, and I'm not gonna say that word anymore. I'm just, I just, I can't hate the way I do it. Um, it has a side effect that's called excessive. A side effect, one of the side effects is called excessive daytime sleepiness. Boss, say, Lexi, I'm not even talking to you. Me and you, we, 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 we in a gripe. I'm going to get you. I've been calling you. You ain't been answering the telephone. Don't be so petite and hot in me. I'm going to get your butt. And so, um, you when I get off this line, I'm going to call you. And you better answer that telephone, too. Y'all, that's my sister. I love Boss Lady Lexi, y'all. That's my baby. Um, so she's selling the soul to so this. Yes, on Sundays. And I'm sold out again this week. And I'm thank God for that. I am sold out, you know. Things are looking so good. But anyway, back to that. So one of the side effects are is um excessive daytime sleepiness and which i hadn't had the side effect for a long time since i've been diagnosed with it i done had it for a long time you know this what happens to you um i'll be watching tv and then um next thing you know i'll be asleep or like if i go out drive with my mother and tib be driving and um I, my mother and my sister always make fun of me. That's all you do is sleep. With when you ride, hanging. you see with your mouth hanging up, you be sleeping. But I be trying to tell them all the time, it's not me. It's my condition. You know, I say it's my sleeping disorder. You know, it, it pissed me to sleep no matter where I'm at. And um and I can't help that. And, you know, so, but my mother and sister, they always make fun of me. They say, girl, you can sleep anywhere. But I say, it's not me. I'll be lively one minute and the next minute I'll be like this. I'll be knocked out sleep. Um, yes, I do. Off and on, Miss Bird. I don't use it too much because you know why? It made me feel like I'm suffocating. <laughs> I'm sorry. It do. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. It's like, it makes it seem like I had more trouble breathing in that than I do without it. Uh, yeah, and it has many side effects, but that's the side effect that I have. That's the only one that I do have, and I don't like it because it drains me, and it makes me tired, and it makes it feel like I don't get enough sleep. And then since the pandemic has happened, uh, yes, I do, Lucy. And since the pandemic has happened, um, it seems like it's getting, I don't want to say worse is the word, but it's not that it's getting you know, it's getting worse. That's a word. I'm putting it out there. That's the word I'm using today. It's getting worse. I don't know if it's a word or not. And it's getting that because my sleep pattern is off. You should do a healthy mukbang challenge. Let me see what you say. This is also why I suggest you do healthy mukbang challenges. I like most of the other two. These health issues can be trickled from any. Oh, yes. Yes. And so, um, that's why, um, well, the, uh, the pandemic and my sleeping been up and down, you know, the fatigue or the, um, if, if I, if I don't have the fatigue, I got the daytime, um, I got the excessive daytime sleeping, I be having the fatigue or sometimes I be having the, um, what's that thing called? Like, insomnia, where you can't sleep. Those are those all the different side effects I be having. Cause yeah, I wake up, I'll go to sleep around 10 o'clock. And then I wake up around one or two, and I stay up until seven o'clock in the morning. I be up to eight o'clock in the morning looking at TV because I can't sleep and stuff. So, um, yeah. So that's what's been going on me with this week. So with the rain, and y'all know rain for me as another level of drowsiness, relaxation, mom, drowsiness, relaxation and stuff, and um. It just make me even more weary or more sleepier. So with the rain, we hey DC Kool Aid Lisa, DC we've been having it rain all week. The so last week or so, we've been getting up a lot of thunderstorms and rain. And so that um, oh you the guy. And so with everything in the air and the moisture in the air and everything, guys, you right um um. I, I've been drowsy. I've been out of it. So, I've been in the bed. 
I don't, that's, that's the only thing I can tell you guys. I've been to bed, and I don't think I ever told anybody that I had that. And and so I want you guys to know why you only got two videos this week. Because I've really been fighting with my sleep acting this week as far as, like, trying to boost my body up and get my stuff together. I have not been getting out of bed to 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Once, once my alarm clock go off to get Jackson up for school, and I made sure he done brush his teeth and stuff, and he's on his computer, I will lay back down, and I cannot get up. And I was forcing my baby to get up. I'm not my baby, me. I'm the baby. <laughs> I was forcing my body to get up at 2 o'clock and stuff, because I could lay, I could sleep all day not do anything but i was like oh my god i got a job to do i gotta work because you know being on youtube and selling my flower pulling orders that's my job that's my nine to five for me now and so even though i'm my own boss i still gotta like i i owe a certain obligation to it to you know to do things so um so yeah, so that's what been going on with me this week, you know. So I had to pull myself out the bed yesterday. Even when I pulled myself out the bed yesterday and did a go through a vlog and go to the store and stuff, it still took me three hours to get dressed because I was sitting on the edge of the bed and I was just like out of it. And my son's like, Ma, are you sleep? And I was on the edge of the bed like this. I said, I said, man, I'm ready to go by sleep now. And I just got up. So um, so yeah, so I um that's what happened to me this week. That's why you got two videos this week. I was totally, totally... And this is the first time that it has bothered me this bad. You know, I would have the, day, the, the excessive daytime sleepiness, but not to this level. Not to this point that I had it all this week. To all, to all this week. So, uh, it's a... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Jackson is 15, Lulu, and he be 16. I got all these birthdays for my mother's birthday in October, Jackson's birthday in October, um, my granddaughter's birthday in October. Um, then September, I got my birthday, my sister's birthday, my two aunt's birthday, my two sons. Um, my grandmother, yeah, my grandmother's. Um, Uncles, we got September for our family. It's like the whole month. So, I, yes, I girl, I got all those mods last week. Yes, I am grateful, my mods. Oh, I'm sorry, D. Yeah, yeah, I do. It definitely helps. So, um, I got diagnosed with this in 2013. 2013 2013 and i don't think i really told anybody so but yeah but like i said this has been just like a i don't want to say a stressful week but this has just been a week where that it's been bothering me and i couldn't get it together no matter what i did i just couldn't get it together my body wouldn't allow me to get together i just kept nodding and just kept sleeping couldn't get up out the bed and i just couldn't get it together and um but yesterday i made myself when i did that um when i did that chili video i was mad y'all ain't know i was mad i was mad when i did that chili video because i was sleepy I, I had and I made myself get up. I said, and I posted did that video like that morning. I didn't do it until the evening time, and um, and and and, and, and I was like, as soon as I got finished, I went to, I went and laid down. I went and laid down. As soon as I got finished, I took the clothes off and my pajamas back on. I got back in the bed. I went. I was knocked out. Thank you, Shelly. I, I was back then. But I made myself do it because I knew I had to. And I knew I owed it to you guys because you guys come in and you stick by me. And you guys look for the, um, to the videos. So, um, yeah, I do delay. I, I do. I do. And so, um, yeah, so I was mad when I made that chili video. I ain't had no energy. But guess what? You guys ain't know that, though. Because I try to keep my energy up. Because you know why? Because... Anytime I'm going through something, I don't think I don't have to like bring it all because I don't want you guys to be like, oh my God, you know, we're oh uh, some coconut um shrimps, I will. And so I just try to like keep some things in. Yeah, so I just try to keep some things in, but sometimes I don't mind sharing. 
So that you know, I I think about sharing because I don't know if someone else is going through that. And sometimes, if somebody, if you could hear that somebody else going through that, it kind of makes you feel good or like understand like, oh, I thought I was alone in this. Um, this is and it's a real thing. And see, act now, it's you say you know it's weight. It's it don't always be weight. You got skinny people that have it. You know what I'm saying? You got smaller people that has it. It, it is just unfortunately, it is a sleep disorder, but it does affect you in different ways depending on your weight size and how big you are or how little you are. It is a different in the way it affects you, but you got normal size people, small people, you got kids that have it. So this is this is like a sleep order that is not to be messed around with. So I know some people say, oh, if you lose weight, you may not have it. But no, this is a it's a sleeping disorder. And anybody from little kids to um small people to overweight people can have it. You know what I'm saying? Now if you do lose some weight, it is true that maybe it can go away, but but it may not go away. It's one of those things that it, it's 50-50. It could go away or it may not go away. I think it depends on your body and your situation or whatever else you got going on. But it is something that this sleep disorder just, it could be with anybody. Whether you're small, you're skinny or anything. This is, or you're a kid. This is anything. Yeah, so somebody ringing my doorbell. Them my groceries. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I ordered groceries this morning. <laughs> hey, Joshua. I'm get the door. I had to get the rest of the stuff because even though we went. Mm. Yeah, I am. But look, this is the thing. Who is that? Who at my door? Somebody always at my door when I get on here, right? But um, but I know this is I did groceries. Um, I did Instacart and it said I did all these. And they say it was on its way. And so that's why they ran the door Um, uh, What else did they say? But this is why. Now, they got medicine for it. They got medicine. There is medicine that we could take for a sex of daytime sleepiness. But guess what? The medicine got too many side effects. I was like, I'm already dealing with a side effect from the sleep thing. And then you want me to take a medicine. That's going to give me even more side effects. And so I'm just like, um, I don't think so. I could get it together if, you know, with some energy, um, you know, just getting some rest. And then like my, my, um, my, um, sister-in-law told me I need to get my sleep pattern because that plays an effect with the pandemic everybody's sleep pattern is off it's just not me it's everybody's sleep pattern one mean woman you be up late going to bed late it's like we done lost all sense of time just because everything that's going on in all our lives right now and then with the um at one point when everybody had to be in the house and not be around and stuff we all um yes yeah that's why i said um we all um so all our sleep pattern is off Oh, it's like her husband soaring like a horse, and all of a sudden I stop breathing. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> he said, "Do we?" <coughs> <coughs> you made me choke on that, <coughs> and that choked me out. <laughs> no, it's not just it plays a part of it. The weight, but it's just like I said, you could be small, you could be a child. And you can have it. It is simply a sleep disorder. Now the weight does. Now the weight does. Now don't, don't get it twisted. The weight does affect it too. It does. Weed is here legal in D.C., honey. We have the six plants. We can have up to six plants growing in our house. But only three buds has to be active. So you can. And I, don't, I never understood that. So if you tell me I can have six six plants of weed in my house. But only out the six plants that I have. Only three of them could be active. Meaning only three of them could be growing at one time. So if I do all six plants. Wouldn't all of them grow at the, at the same time? I I I I I I I I I would think so. So that's where that confused me at. Oh, this trim up the weed plants. Oh, I you know what? I never tried it. I think I, I said I would try to grow one because I think I told in my early videos 
maybe about two, three years ago. Uh, I told you guys, I used to smoke weed. I started smoking for my, um, my arthritis. I was smoking that Reggie. I was smoking that Loud. Um, it's a Loud, a Loud, or Reggie. I was smoking Reggie, and I was smoking Loud. And um, <laughs> when I got uh, when I got twisted off those um, when I got twisted off those edibles, I had a fruity. When I for my forty sixth or forty seventh birthday, I ate a fruity pebbles edibles, a, a fruity. Yes, I gave up weed, didn't I, Michael? I had um, I had I I had a fruity pebble um edibles for my forty seventh. I think it was my forty seventh birthday. When I tell you, when I sat down and I ate that fruity pebble edible, nobody told me not to eat the whole thing. That thing was tasting good, and you know you can taste it. Was, was in the corner stuck. I was in the corner stuck on. Stupid. I was in the corner stuck on stupid. I gave the weed up after that. That edible went straight to me, y'all. I was um that was being greedy. I, I, yeah, that was a bit greedy because it tasted so good. It tastes like a rice crispy bar. And I'm sitting there in the edible inside the plastic bag, and I'm sitting there just eating it. Just eating it. Watching everybody dance and have fun. And I'm just eating it. Next thing I know, the edible was gone. And honey, when I tell you I was sitting in the recliner, everybody, people said they was coming over to me, waving their hands. Oh, thank you. Waving their hands all in my face. Yeah. All day, I say, I, I, man, I was gone. My, I, all this is because people told me, they said I was talking about my hands was floating and I was in space. They said they were, um, people was trying to move me. Man, I was fucked up. Let's put it like that. I, I don't cuss that much, but that's the only way you could say it. I was effed up. And, and I was high until two to three o'clock the next day when I woke up. My head was spinning. I was still twisted. I didn't know what happened to me. Everybody had to tell me what I was doing. And my brother got, my brother caught an attitude. He got mad at my girlfriend who gave it to me. And uh, why would you get that to her? And, and you know, my brother and them got mad. And, um, and a couple of my sons got mad too. You didn't watch her eat it. That was her first time eating it. And so, you know, I'm grown. I was 47. But they but, but uh, they really didn't tell me not to eat the whole thing. I didn't know. So after that, I stopped smoking weed. You know, when you get a bad experience, stuff will shut you down. <laughs> it will shut you down. So I haven't had no weed since I was 47. Now I'm 50. I'm scared now. <laughs> Oh man, you know you have a experience like that. Go shut it down. Uh, people had to tell you that. Uh, yeah, you did too much. I know, right, <laughs> Mr. R? I did too much. But people had to tell you. They said, "Girl, you had your arms up in the air, talking about your hands was floating, talking about you was in space." That was all the crazy stuff they told me. They said you were sitting there looking stupid looking. My brother, at one point, who went outside um, crying? I think Tim, they said Tim was outside crying because somehow something wrong with my sister. <laughs> you remember they said Tim was outside crying? Tim was outside crying. They was busting at my friend. Why you get that to her? She don't do no, they, at this point, they start calling it drugs, right? They was like, she don't do drugs and all <laughs> <laughs> my brother was pissed. I know my brother Antoine would be here with Bingo. He was pissed, man. <laughs> I mean, but you know what? That was a fun night, and I oh, laughed. No, never try. I don't, I don't know why I wouldn't make it, Shelly, because I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't eat it. I think I'd be scared to. Um, eat um sushi i don't know if i like just the thought of it being raw but then i know some some sushi the acid the as the acid you know if you use like a lemon or lime or something it like cooks it or whatever but i don't know but i will do some coconut um shrimps yes i'll do that i haven't i haven't did that on my channel before yeah y'all
you need to grow. Yeah, it is. But you know, I'm pretty much on point with my doctor with everything with my sleep apnea and my disorder. It is what I'm going through. It, it is um it, it it is a side effect, but it's just that it bothers me more this week than it ever bothered me before. And um I was really out of it. And I say and I say if the weather played the part, um my sleeping, not not managing my sleeping play tomorrow. Oh, hey Tia, new life turn out that you were still at the um at the nail shop when I talked to you this morning. Happy birthday, sister. She y'all, y'all let me go look at her dance video. She danced her butt off last night. I think the girl's gonna be able to walk this morning. She danced her butt off. I gotta see it. Hey Miss Jones, I am feeling fine. Thanks for asking. How are you, honey? We're here talking about um sleep disorder. And have been affecting me. Hey, Karen Woods, um, this week. And that's what, yeah, she showed. Didn't she, Jay Savage? She showed out. She came to party. We went to her house, surprised her, and woke her up. She came out. She showed it out. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Carol, that's why they're crazy. Welcome to the 50s, yes. Said you give up weed. Um, yeah, so um I ain't smoke I ain't did weed since two thousand. When I'm, the well the year was when I was forty seven. My forty seventh birthday. I haven't done Yeah, I haven't done it since. Fifty is now the new forties. Huh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Blessing of being half of a hundred. <laughs> yes, I'm about to be fifty one. Oh my God! It just seemed just like last year that um um that um I just had my fiftieth birthday party, guys. Hey, Bernell. I looked at that thing. You looked at it. I said, "When was Tommy did with that dress she had on?" Don't you look good? No, I still got that dress. When Joshua was over there. And, and you Thank you. Uh huh. I still got the only thing about that video I don't like looking at my 50th birthday video because of Uncle Gilbert. That's the only reason I don't look at that video no more because it, it I you know because you know that's why I'm saying life is so short. You know he danced with me in my video. We having fun. He was hugging all on me that night and then now he's gone and so less than a year and so that's why I don't, I don't look at that video that much because. I, I cousin remind me of Uncle Gilbert and I'm just like that 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 that's that, that thing was crazy. It was really crazy. Yeah, she danced all night, y'all. <laughs> My mom is fine these days. She sit right over here with her granddaughter. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I turned y'all around. They sit right there. Look at my granddaughter. Her Gigi and my mama sitting right there. Eat a granddaughter. You eating your favorite snack? Let's see. Look, she eating her favorite snack, y'all. Y'all know my granddaughter. Hey, Ty, Timon, Ty, say hey. Hi, they just hi, sitting back. Hi. Oh, my baby said hi, Ty. Oh, you hear that, Ty? So <laughs> oh, Shelly said my birthday next week, the sixteenth, Virgo okay. season. Yes. That's birthday. The, oh no, that's birthday, October the sixteenth. Oh, that's that time. He said, Oh, baby. <laughs> they sitting over there, y'all. We just chilling, you know. I woke up late for on the couch. Um, I woke up late. I was late because, shoot, honey, I'm telling you, when I woke up, I it was up. 10. My mother woke me up calling my telephone. You coming to get me? You coming to get me? I said, I looked at pulled my phone. I said, Oh my God, it's 1043. I said, I got to do on the couch. I said, Mom, I said, I'm just kidding. I said, I'm going to send you an Uber. And she, she, she said, send me an Uber. I said, I'm going to send you an Uber. I said, get dressed. Let me know when you're ready, and I'm going to send you an Uber. I said, because I'm just getting, I got to get myself together. And it took me a minute to get myself together. And I was running late. And I told you, it's taking every bit of the strength to crawl me, to get me to crawl up out the deck on bed these days. Yeah, up late oh, yeah, then I ain't going to bed. No, because we got back from Tear House, guys. I think I, we left Tear House around 1.30. I think I dripped off sleep about, I stayed up to about 2.30, but tell you what I did. Everyone, hey, low life, how you doing today? 
I told you guys I like listening to the rain. The rain puts place me to sleep. And I turn my TV on. And I listened to rain, and rain put me to sleep. But last night, when I turned my TV on, on my YouTube homepage, they had the sounds of the ocean. And it was dark. So I turned my TV like on 30. I think it was on 30 or 35. I turned it up loud. And I took my pillow, and I laid down, and I closed my eyes. And all I hear was ocean waves. The sound of the ocean. But I'm going to tell you what, you what my retarded butt said to myself, right? I said, I ain't never did the ocean waves. I said, I hope I don't get seasick. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, yeah, that's how stupid I am. <laughs> I been saying some tripping stuff to myself, right? <clears throat> I said... I hope I don't get seasick because I never did the sounds of the ocean and the waves and all that stuff because <laughs> I only do the thunder and the rain when I want to fall asleep and I knew I wanted to fall asleep but it was something different and I was like yes I did that and it's embarrassing to say that out loud but I said it out loud so I, I thought it I tilted my head to the side and everything I said I wonder why I get seasick. <laughs> but I laid down. No, she did not get seasick. That thing took me. I think I was sleeping 10 minutes. And I slept all night. I ain't go to the bathroom. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> so that, that, that was a new one. And I liked it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, this is, I be crazy. Hey, Antoinette. Hi, Carol. Yes. So yeah. Oh yeah, you know what, Shelly? This is the craziest thing. People, y'all be I think y'all just be knowing stuff. I don't know. Cause my son who's in there right now, him and this girlfriend just told me last week to do some fried crab legs in my um in my flour. But what I was gonna do, I was gonna get some for Costco. I like those big king ones, and I was gonna take the meat out of it and take the meat out of it and fry it so yeah i am going to do some fried crab meat um i'm gonna peel it out the um the king crab leg because i think those little the little regular snow crabs I, i'm not even going to um waste my time to try to pull the meat out of those if i fry some crab meat i'm gonna take it up out that king crab leg come you take that thing up it'd be like this thick and long like that and i'm gonna fry that and see what happened i never had it before so Thank you, GP. So I think I when I do it for well, a video, I may be doing a mukbang on that because I want to taste. I never tasted it before. I said, "Come on, man, and see food free, and then making me hungry." Yeah. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm gonna buy two because them things, them things expensive, honey. Them king crab legs are expensive, but I'm just gonna get two of them. And fry them and save that knuckle. Because I like that big knuckle part. All that meat be up in there. Oh, my God. Oh, Tia, ain't you doing crabs today? I might got to come visit. Oh, I can't come visit your day because I got to do bingo and I got to do stuff. She said she'd be over here later. No, I never made a raisin and carrot salad. See, this is the thing. I don't try to make too many different things because, cause, you know, I, I, I'm a home cook. And, you know, and I've been cooking for my family. And, you know, I pretty much cook the things that they eat. You know, I don't make certain things just because I know my boys and I know me. And we're not going to eat it. And I pretty much, I don't have nobody to call and say, hey, I made this. You want to come get it? So I don't like wasting food. Uh, Angie say I'm on all machines, nebulizer, sleep pack. <laughs> Angie, buddy. Man, Angie, I'm going to tell you guys. I know I be getting away from different subjects, but I'm going to tell you guys how much me and my family love you guys. Me and my brother and his wife last night on the way home, um, or on the way to my sister's house, we was talking about Angie. We was talking about Taylor. We was talking about Tracy Baby. And 
And my and my brother's wife said, y'all talk about them like y'all know them. Me and my brother said, it feel like we know them. I said, man, we these names popped up. They so we talking about Stephanie Hampton, and she said, y'all just say their names off the bat. Like I said, we didn't. I said, they these the people that they just be in the lives and they be on the videos making comments so much. I said, I just be knowing names rolling off my tongue, and I said, and that damn Angie. And, and I said something wrong with her. I said you can't help but remember, know her, and talk about her. We were talking about Mr. Montgomery, but everything was all good and all lasts and stuff. And that's when I had told my, I told my sister. I said, man, I love my people. I said I do. Oh, Angie said, I believe you, Angie. I be, I believe you. Take care. Yes. To take care, I believe, and that's what I'm trying not to aim for. I'm trying not to aim to have a whole bunch of different problems. And um, like right now, I have two. You know, I I'm not. I thank God, I'm I'm not a diabetic. I've been tested. I don't have high cholesterol. My cholesterol is good. I'm not a diabetic, but right now I do have two issues, which is the sleep disorder and the blood pressure thing the blood pressure but i have two but that is two that you don't want to have or you don't want to be so right now what i'm doing too my son made me start drinking vinegar that um that apple cider vinegar not the regular one but that one that everybody drinking stuff so i take two teaspoons of that in the morning now um, so I have to take that, I have to take that, I have to take that today when we get off it. I take two teaspoons of that there. And I've been doing that for the last four days. I just saw it this week. That shit nasty. But Andrew, Andrew stands over top of me. Like, like you remember when your child's sick, you stand on top of a spoon, open your mouth up, mom. I be like, Andrew, I don't need you to be doing this. Because Andrew been doing it about for two weeks or so. Because he trying to get ready to do what he ready to do. So Andrew been doing it about for two weeks. And he been saying, mom, you going to do it. So Andrew stands on top of me. Mom, wake up. You ready to take your mess? I'm look up. He got the vinegar and a plastic spoon. And he be right here. Oh, I said, well, let me mix it with water. He said, no, nah, do it straight. He said, you do it straight. But it burns your um, It burns your throat. You should shake that bottle up real good. And, and, yeah, the Briggs. That's what we're taking. Yes, and that's the ones we. That's the one. That's the bottle we got. I got two bottles of it. And um. It, but all day I don't like about taking it straight. I take two teaspoons. You, yeah, Andrew gives me a bottle of water, so I take a bottle of water behind it. And yeah, so it is so crazy. This boy, he every day. You ready, mom? You ready, mom? He go get the spoon and he stands on top of me and he pour it into the spoon and he put it in my mouth. I said, Andrew, I'm grown. I can do it. He like, I just want to make sure you take it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, somebody at the door, they not ring the doorbell. I asked Joshua early to get the door. Now somebody at the door, then y'all never got my groceries. Yeah, what? Joshua! They on that video, video game. Yeah, see, I was trying to get him to mix it with the water. But he won't let me mix it with the water. So I just did the two teaspoons and I got the water. I had my bottle of water on the side. And I, as soon as I drink it, I, I, throw, I, I take the water down. Because <laughs> it makes me go, eh. <laughs> Oh, man. And grab my stuff. Who's that? Something delivered. Yeah, a great car just pulling off a great car. This house getting more deliveries, and more things, and a man to dig go. Oh, oh, they had it. Uh, what's, what's that? that? Pizza. pizza. Somebody got That's pizza. Michael. Give you me that bread right is. there, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Hand me that. Yeah. What is this? That's the um. I I there. Yeah. Every that this this key y'all look what I got from all these. I've been trying to get it for. Everybody for last month, people were saying that all these sell keto bread, but my all these in DMV never had it, never had it. Then I saw B Love and her husband do another video, and the other day I did groceries delivery, they didn't have it. So no, I'm not saying I'm back on the keto thing, but what I am saying is that if I'm going to eat bread. This is what I'm going to eat now. So they actually have the bread this time, and this is wheat. And this is zero net carbs wheat bread, five grains of protein, nine ounces of fiber, um, 
zero net carbs and zero gluten. Um, it's 40 calories per slice. So, yeah, so this is the bread that if they keep it, they don't keep it in stock. So I guess a lot of people, because that was one of my things with keto is that the bread, even though we can make bread, you get lazy. You don't feel like making it and all that stuff. So when I found, when I heard about this, I've been searching all the Aldi's in that area. And I finally got my hand. And I think I said I put in for two loaves, two loaves of it. So when I eat bread from now on, this is the bread that I'm be eating. Uh, wow, uh, Donna. So, T, do you see Donna's comment? No. Well, who's Donna? Do I need to go back up? What Donna say? I had a contest doing a fish fry recently. Your flower against a name brand. Yours won hands down, and I'm only and I'm on my third bed. Oh, thank you, Donna. Thank you for real. You know what? You're the second person that um did. Congratulations, Donna. You're the second person who told me um they used my fish during the summertime, the early part of the summer. Another lady on my web on on the on the site in the in the um feedback area, she left a um comment saying that um she used my flower in a chicken contest. And a, and a fried chicken um contest and um she won first prize and she did it up against other um name brand season flowers she said and you won first prize that's what's up my flower out here winning contests and things that's what's up thank you donna i am so glad you won y'all know what we gotta do we gotta get this I'm working on that credit. If I get them loans, that's what's going on. Another good news, you know. Trying the credit, working on that credit, so I can get the. If I could do, I get the house, so I could try to see if I can get a business loan. Cause I want to get my flower on the market, but everything, uh, yeah, it, it's hard to stick to Lucy. But that's why. But bread was my downfall. But I got it now. I bought two loans, and they said this is supposed to use. Uh, thank you, Debbie. I um, only got one. I thought I put two on there. They probably ain't had no more. They probably ain't had no more because I thought I put two on there. And and and, and think about because a lot of people are saying, why you on um, why your flower not in stores? When you get store, everything costs this. It's all about this right here. You got to have this to do anything. This is the way. You can have the biggest and best product out here. So many people can love it. But if you don't have the money. No, it's wheat. If you don't have um, chill, it's wheat. If you don't have the money to back up what you're trying to do, you're not going to get anywhere. Say, I'm flying for Christmas. Thank, for, thank you, Cat Eyes. But so, so that's why, you know, I'm doing it on myself. I do it myself. And, and no, not only that, dealing with the right and dealing with the right people. And you know, I don't know nobody. Me and my, this is a small family business. Me and my brother and my children, we ain't here making it happen. We're making it work. Uh, <laughs> somebody said, Barbara from B-Love, she loaded. I know that's why right. she is loaded. But I don't think she's open as a bank as of yet. <laughs> But you know what? And at the end of the day, it's like I wanted to do investors, but then I don't want to do investors because when you do investors, people got to understand if you invest into a product or something and if it don't go right or even if you're doing good on a smaller scale and you try to take it to a bigger scale and if it don't go, go right, they're going to have to understand that you don't owe them no money. You know, dealing with certain type of people, they'll be like, oh, you still owe me money. No, because that's why I call it an investment. When you invest in something, you're taking a risk. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're believing in the product. The product is showing really well at a lower scale that we're on, but we're trying to take it bigger. And if it don't succeed at that bigger scale, I need that person to understand that I don't owe you anything at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I don't owe you anything in the day. Um, I risk money, you risk money, and 
it didn't pan out. So, yes, you, we, we, we're taking L's on that. That's what they call investment. And it's hard for me to get with the right type of people to have that business frame of mind of thinking and knowing that that's, that's the way things run. It's a risk when you go into business. <coughs> oh, that's a blessing, Angie. That's a blessing right there. So, <clears throat> at the end of the day, I can count on myself. Everything I do, I do myself. Because I have learned over the years, it's, 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 it's just better to do it all on your own at a slow and steady pace. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what they say? Slow and steady pace, win the race or something like that? Yeah, I'm like, you can swallow that green tea. My throat's so parched. I need something. That's why I'm over here just, just, just um, I'm a throat dry. I'm over here choking and everything. That's mine, y'all. Um, how's it outside today? It's still cloudy. Um, you can order down, um, it take, and that's what I tell people too. It takes five to seven days before you get your flower. Sometimes it depends on if I got a little bit orders so and you order, you probably get your flowers in four days. But since I was out of stock and it came back in stock, and I got pages and pages and pages of order. So you may you may order September the fourth, but guess what? It's people that's way, way, way pages and pages that's before you. And so what I try to do, I try I send flour out four days a week. And and since I get it the since I get it picked up by the postal service, I use crake. And yeah, and then the postal people start delayed because I had to give people um order numbers and say, Hey, I ordered it, I sent it out on this day. And so I said, check with the postal service. Because I could if you get an email from me, that means it was sent out. And once I email you and it's sent out, I think when you get your email, your your number comes, your tracking number comes with it too. Once we send it out at that point, then you have to start checking with the post office. Because I use the um three-day shipping, those those bags, packages, for three days, that's what I use. And the post office has been really delayed. I had the post office lie just the other day on a package. And we sat here. My son sat here, helped the post lady, right, take out two crates of flour. Uh, that the post lady take out two crates of flour. And so I had some Amazon packages coming that's supposed to be delivered by USPS. It's my sister Tia, too. Y'all see her little 50 stuff, glasses and stuff. And so the post lady came. We got the mail. My son, we talked to the postwoman, okay? We talked to the postwoman. And then Andrew helped her take two crates of flour out to the post van for, for you know, deliveries going out. Why, about 9 o'clock that night, I get a notification from Amazon saying, um, your package will have to be delivered. Attempted delivery will try again by the USPS. I said, what tempered delivery by the USPS? I said... I called Tia Tia and said, Tanya, did you get a thing for Amazon saying they attempted to deliver by the USPS? I said, yeah. I said, but how are they going to attempt to deliver when we was outside with the post lady today? We loaded flour up in the post lady truck. We're talking to the post lady. The post lady gave us our mail. The post lady didn't attempt to give us no packages. So what attempt did they make? So basically, they didn't put our packages out to come out with the regular mail. So instead of just um, waiting to tomorrow, they give Amazon a feedback that they tried to attempt delivery. Ain't nobody tried to attempt delivery. We sitting here on the corner with the post lady, putting packages in the post lady mail. And then, and then another thing, the post lady... This wasn't my regular post lady because my other post lady, she see when she see my crates on my porch filled with flour that go out, she know to pick it up. Because this is another thing. When I put in my shipping reports with the post office service the night before, and in the morning time, they supposed to give the post people, uh, okay, you got to pick up. They, um, the lady, my regular mail lady told me they supposed to, in the morning, they supposed to give them a, a printout 
of the address who people got pickups. They never give it to her. And so she knows when she see my flower on my porch, she'll take it. Okay, this other lady came. And she knocked she, on the door for help, too. And, and she knocks on the door for help because I put in description, you know, knock on, you know, if you need help, knock on my door because my boys would take the flower out because I got crakes and the crakes be big and heavy. And so this new lady we didn't have for the last two or three days, um, yeah, they forgot to load the stuff and make it undeliberate instead. That's what they do. They forgot to load it, so they make it undeliberate instead. So the first time we saw this lady, I said, okay, this is not my new lady. I said, she came up on the porch. She didn't knock on the door, but we heard the mailbox close. I said, go look outside. By the time we got to the steps, she was about to go around the corner. And two days in a row, my sister Tia was here. Um, yes, I do. I'm sorry, Debbie. Debbie keep asking me for my PayPal account. It's the same. I can put it on there on my thing on the chat. It's the same as my email. It's um soulfult45 at gmail.com. Yes. And I'm sorry, Debbie. I saw you asking me that through the whole. Yeah, my PayPal is soulfult45 at gmail.com. Yes, my mom, um, my son gonna put it in, in the chat for you, Debbie. And so um Tia had to tell the lady, Tia said, excuse me, male lady. And she said, yes. Yeah. She said, my sister got packages up there on the steps. Oh, uh, she said, oh, I saw that. That's to go out. She said, yeah, that's to go out. She said, um, I'm going to go around the corner and come back and get them. So she did. She did that. She came around the corner. She came back. And Andrew, you welcome, Debbie. I apologize. And Andrew um, took them to the car. And so guess what? The next day she came. Packages was out there, right? This is the day I said me and Tia saw her. Yeah, um, uh, oh boy, bye. Some turn the TV down. Um, 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 so this was the next day. I had more packages, two big old crates again, a flower going out. This the same lady, right? So Common sense will tell you if the day before you saw these two big crates of packages going out and we helped you to the car, wouldn't you think the next day you would know that these crates going out too? I even have a sign on, over top of my crates plant to my wall said, please pick up for um, takeout delivery. And so she went down the street and said, oh, I'll be back again. She said she'll be back again, right? This is, this, um, this is a true story. She said she'll be back again. If Tia wouldn't have left out the house, she would have kept going. Tia was going out the house, out to her car, and the post office lady was getting in the car to take off. She was getting the car, and Tia said, "Wait a minute, and my sister got um got packages up here." And so she said, so she tried to say, "Oh, I was going to turn around," and so. She turned the van around, opened the side door, and I told Andrew, I said, Andrew, go take the packages and help her put it in the van. So I'm leaning over my railing outside. I said, excuse me, ma'am. I said, um, do you not get your um printouts in the morning? I said, I do I said, I have postal pickup for packages. I said, if you want me to, I could show you the email to confirm my pickup. I said, because that's one thing I do, I make sure. I put my pickups in for my packages to get picked up. She said, um, sometimes they don't give them to us and stuff. I said, well, if you see, I said, I know you knew, so if you see crates of packages up here, I said, could you please knock on the door for assistance? I said, because um, that means these are orders that I need to have this stuff taken to the post office. And I even told her, and if you want, I can show you my email that confirmed my pickup in my day. I said, because I always um confirm my i always do a pickup she was like um okay but she said but that's no need if i see it i know that means to pick it up i said okay and i said and knock on the door um for you to have assistance and she said okay i said i got maybe because she knew i don't know i got a trainer in my package pickup but common sense if you did it the day before and then you see it the next day don't you think she just wanted to roll out and it's and, and this and get this they're not lifting the packages. Now, when they get to the post office, I don't know what they got to do. But from when leaving my porch into their van, my boys do that. But sometimes I had two and three cricks full of orders going out. 
So leaving my porch to the van, these ladies don't have to lift anything. They they even help the gentlemen on um, postal men well, that but come. The but the dudes like, don't never um the dudes don't never say they always say no nah, I don't need no help you good. So the dudes they'll take them go back up and down the steps and they'll take them. But the the females I don't never let them carry the packages. I tell them knock on my door. I got a house full of men. They will carry those packages down for y'all and that's what they do. They, so it's chill. You don't have to carry nothing. Only I do is stand there with a the postal truck open, and the boys go and they go load the flower in, and they come back with the crates empty. Oh, did you do it? Did you do it? Episode two forty five. Yes. So Debbie, uh, he think he did it. I don't know if he he said it's sofa tea. 45 at G. My, yeah. My name, High Fly for Life. Oh, it was under High Fly for Life. <laughs> so, T45 at gmail.com. Yes, yes, yes. Five o'clock, Lisa. Five o'clock. So, yes. Yeah, no, so. <laughs> five o'clock. Five o'clock. I do. I got, yeah, that's that dope bit. No, I don't have ring. Cause ring is for the um you can visual and see, but I do have a doorbell, but it don't record anything or anything. I think DC have who? No, this ain't nothing wrong with her. She's sitting over here singing. She child look. Look, she got her um headset on, and she just playing. Look at her. Ain't nothing wrong with her little bad butt. Don't put me on camera. What's up? You, <laughs> you see how I'm looking? I'm whooping. You whooping. We, we in the house. We whooping. We whooping. But it's all good, you know. I know they got a hard job. Thank and you. And, you know, and I like the fact that since I don't drive, Everybody said, hey, Michael. <laughs> Michael laid back. He said, oh, you got me on camera. <laughs> it served the boy. We know you look the way you look. It is all good. Um, and I appreciate the fact that, because when I was doing cakes, my pound cakes, I didn't know about the delivery service pickup. So I was um catching Uber, paying people, calling people to take me to the, um, they said, what's up, Big Mike? <laughs> uh Oh, that was Michael Fussing. <laughs> they said, Mike in the house, hey, cat eyes. And I was doing all of that to get them pound cakes to the post office. I didn't know about P USPA's pickup in your home. I learned about that when I started the flower, and it's so convenient. That's why I'm patient with them. Oh, because I'm going to tell you another thing, too. Somebody ringing that doorbell again. Who's there? Somebody dropped the packets. Or the food. Brandon probably ordered some food. Child, tell we get. No, no. What's that? Amazon delivery. Amazon delivery. Uh, oh, that's your. And it is not mine. My name is Tanya. My first name is Tanya. Um. Um. What else they say? And uh, so I'm grateful. For that child, we get so many deliveries in this house. It's crazy. It's a house full of people. You would think that, um, y'all, my house is so crowded. I got, uh, somebody said, I knew it was Amazon. It was, but it wasn't me this time. I got so, so much stuff everywhere. This house is so small. I need sheds. I need everything. But I'm cutting back on my Amazon delivery. The last thing I got delivered was a deep fry. This, y'all, this is what I got the other day. No, no, this not. I got this, y'all. Other oh, day, this came. This came two days ago for Amazon, and the reason why I got this deep fry because I done bought two deep fries in two weeks. Cause when I did my first dinner, I bought a fat daddy deep fry or something, and but it wasn't big enough, and it took me a long time to um. It took me a long time to. Now the fry the chicken for them party wings for we don't talk about that for for that dinner and so i say oh my second dinner i can't do this i said i can't do this and so i went on amazon and i got this for 60 dollars 
This was $60. It was a bigger basket. So I said, if I'm going to be doing fresh, I can't use that fat daddy. That was too small. Because, guys, I do have a um, butterball deep fry. If anybody uh know anything about the butterball deep fry, I had that big giant butterball deep fry. I think I paid 200 and something dollars for it. Only used it one time in a video with T.Y. That's too big to use. for a, Unless I was having like an outdoor summertime um, 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 fish fry, I, I could use that. But I ain't want to pull that out. <coughs> and that's in the basement. And as soon as me and T.Y. got finished that video, that, that thing got um, cleaned out, put up. And that's back in the basement. So I don't know if I'll ever use that again. Because the fried turkey was good, but I'm a traditional girl. I like a roasted turkey. So now I got three deep fries. I got uh, the big butterball one. I got this one I just bought. Then I got the one from last week. That's what I'm saying. Amazon be getting me, man. <coughs> but another thing. Yeah, I be on Amazon just ordering shit. Me too, Tracy, baby. It don't make no sense. That's why I'm a tell. Yeah, curbside dinner pick up a Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know that's right. That's why I um I, yeah, I got it from Amazon. It was 60 bucks and it's really big. So this is gonna fry the fish. This um we, the fish I'm frying tomorrow for the dinners. I better do it real good in this thing. And it say it's a jumbo size deep fryer. So, I haven't even took it out the package yet. It's been sitting here since the last three days. I ain't take it out. I got pockets everywhere, y'all. I got stuff everywhere. And that's why I told, I told my, hey, hey, Victoria. I told my brother, I said, let us buy you something for your housewarming. Oh, thank you. I, You know what? I will. But I'm going to wait until I'm actually in the home. Because can't nothing else fit in this house. My kids are tired of me. I got shelves and shelves of stuff. I got stuff downstairs in my basement and boxes that's never. Oh, that's because I'm not, I've am not. i been up and I haven't had anything to drink. You know, when you get up, your, your, your throat is dry, Debbie, and it's scratchy. I haven't had nothing to drink since I woke up. A bottle of water, I ain't had nothing. Then by I'm talking to you guys, it's just my throat is dry. That's my son that's gave me a little bit of uh, tea. I ain't got no corona. Don't be getting like my kids. Because my kids, you know, we don't go nowhere. We don't do nothing. As soon as a bama cough, sneeze, or do anything, they swear, Mom, what's wrong with you? Andrew will be in his room. Be in his room on his video game. I'll cough two or three times. He gonna open up his bedroom door. You all right? You all right? No, ain't no corona over here. We don't go nowhere. We don't do nothing. Before there was corona, people did sneeze. People did cough. Come on, man. You can't even be on a bus or walking down the street and you cough or something. And motherfuckers gonna look at you like you're crazy. I hate to say that, but they do. Brandon said he was on the bus because he was smoking cigarettes and he stopped smoking cigarettes. He coughed. He said everybody on the bus came sideways at him, looking at you. Did y'all know we used to cough before Corona? That's all I'm saying. I be having to, <laughs> I, I have been saying that to my um to my kids. You know, y'all y'all need to stop. <laughs> I be doing that to my kids. I say, y'all crazy. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I can understand, but I don't I don't look at people crazy if I see them cough. I mean they coughing. It's part of life. So somebody said, I refuse to call. Don't call around Andrew. I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't nobody better not call around Andrew. Because Andrew, yes, hey, bingo tonight, 5 o'clock. Andrew is a hot mess when it comes to it, man. He is. <laughs> yes, they do. Everything is on the corona now. But, guys, I'm going to let you guys go up out of here. Because guess what? I got to cut up some cabbage. I got to peel some um, sweet potatoes. And I got to do that all before five. Because if I don't do it before bingo start, and bingo be lasting anywhere between 9.30 to 10 o'clock, when I get off, I ain't going to be too tired to peel anything. So me and my daughter-in-law about to wipe this table down in the sliver room. And we about to, um, I had to buy some um, potato pillars just to, um, before we could peel the sweet potatoes. Because we ain't doing canned sweet potatoes over here, y'all. My dinner, my dinner. 
I got fresh sweet potatoes, okay? My sweet potatoes are fresh. We ain't doing no can. And don't get it twisted. It's nothing wrong with canned sweet potatoes. Because I do it on the lazy point when I do it for my home. I would do a can sweet potatoes, but I'm not to make them things taste good. But if I'm going to have people pay for some money or whatever, I'm going to give y'all the best. So we, I'm doing peeled no sweet potatoes, ready to cut up. I bought about seven cabbages, ready to cut these, and uh, 10, 12 cabbages, ready to cut these cabbages up. And y'all know cutting up cabbage is a whole lot of work. And I'm going to put them all inside um, freezer bags, put it in the refrigerator until tomorrow. So when I wake up at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, get to making my mac and cheese, my sweet potatoes, my cabbage, and I put everything on the warmers. I ain't got to be cutting no cabbage at 5 in the morning. Y'all lucky. It was smelling good in here last week. Last week it was smelling so good in here. Everybody's like, Mom, it smells like Thanksgiving up in here. I said, I know, right? I'm about to not get that for <laughs> I'm just going to keep, yep, 25 dinners, 25 dinners. What, girl? You happy? Help me. Help you? What I'm helping you for? Grandma, help me, help me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she doing. <laughs> Man, my grandchildren are the best. They are crazy, y'all. And she's only two. Well, the dinner's varies because it depends on the meat. Like when I did chicken, I did twelve dollars. Since I'm doing fish, and this time I added two sides plus the vegetable and plus the drink, I did twenty dollars. And so it all depends on the meat, on how much, because some meats are higher than others. Um, what's going on next Sunday? I was thinking either barbecue ribs, potato salad, and broccoli. But then I was thinking maybe lasagna stove top lasagna and garlic bread which one yeah yeah i so i was thinking about i was thinking about baked poke beans i was thinking about some baked beans potato salad and um and ribs and which that would probably be a 20 dollar dinner too because ribs are expenses oh well we do curbside um no, child, if I do beef ribs, that dinner probably be about $25. Because y'all know beef ribs is not a joke. No, it's Whitey's. I was gonna I was gonna do catfish, but a lot of people saying they don't like catfish, so and you know a lot of people don't do tilapia no more because it's a homegrown thing. So I went on went with Whitey's. I stuck it in between. I, everybody do a Whitey. So I decided to do the Whitey. Yeah, um, so yeah. So that's it. And I do 25 dinners. Because I don't want to do no... I'll, I do 25 dinners. I do 25 dinners. I put out there every Sunday. And so far, we've been selling out every Sunday. So, but only been two Sundays. <laughs> it's only been two Sundays. So, yeah. Oh, well, Jay Savage, guess what? I might do the ribs next week. Um, The ribs, potato salad, and baked beans. That's probably what I do next week. Um, can I send a birthday card? Email me and not because I don't have a um Debbie, I don't have a P.O. box, honey. I don't. I used to have one, but I it, it dropped, so I need to get another one. So I don't have one yet. And right now, since I'm trying to hopefully I'll be moving by March. Um I'm trying to save money, so I'm not even going to do a P.O. box. I'm going to wait until I get to my new location and stuff and do one. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. She, she, she close by you. And that's, thank you, said They call her Little Michael. Little Michael is a pretty little girl. <laughs> she is. She a hot man. That's my baby. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, <clears throat> I must admit, and I say this was last week. I had a, I was kind of frazzled because I made dinners last week, and I didn't think my macaroni and cheese came out good, and so I was all over the place to the point where that I was about to cancel my dinners because I was like, that's my signature dish. It's no way I should have messed that up. But but everybody said my kids and them was like, it tastes good. Now do it taste like your regular mac and cheese? No, it don't. But 
But ma, it tastes good. People who never had your mac and cheese before, they're going to like it because it tastes better than what these other restaurants are out here doing. So last, and it's because I was nervous because I wasn't cooking for my family and friends. And sometimes I get anxiety and I frazzle myself and I get to overthinking and I will F something up. But um, last week, I don't think I put my foot into my macaroni and cheese the way I normally do. But since I got such good feedback from the people who bought the place, they said the dinner was delicious. They said they can't wait to buy another one. They said everything was good. People was like, oh, that food gave me life. And so I was like, since I got the good feedback, I said, well, maybe I did do it. And my family's like, mom, the macaroni and cheese tastes good. It tastes good. Y'all, I was in here last week almost crying. Yeah, she really was. It wasn't that, Michael. Yeah, she's talking about she about the cash, she about the car, everybody. I'm about the car, everybody. I said, no, I said I'm about to give her their money already. back. And I said, I'm about to give them their money back. And my son, Michael, said, no, no, you got two cars out here already. I had everybody in the house kept, 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 getting, back, kept getting everybody macaroni and cheese on a plate and yeah, had them taste it. I said, taste it, taste it. And having them taste it. They was like, mom, it's good. It's better than most restaurants. I said, but this is not it. Yeah, but see, I done got my confidence now. I done got um and I got my confidence now. I'm not scared no more. Everybody gave me good feedback on the food. They said it was good. Yeah, and and um so yeah, cause when I gotta feed people, I get I I want my food to taste good, and and, and I know I make good food, but you know yeah. So but this week, it, everything on point because um. Everybody gave me good feedback. They say everything was good. So I'm, I'm about to put my... If you didn't get the macaroni and cheese last week, honey, the macaroni and cheese you get this week, the people who got their orders this week, they they they, they brain's about to be blown. They ain't going to want to eat nobody else's macaroni and cheese because I'm feeling good this week. I'm feeling more confident this week. And I was just so nervous the first week. I, I was just so nervous the first week, but um, the nervousness is gone because the feedback came back. Robert and so, Coleman said she sold she sold plates before the pandemic. Now, now she do pop up dinners. They do well. She she doing Tennessee. Oh, okay, that's good. And so I'm doing curbside pickups. Uh, see before dinners. That sound interesting, little life. I do curbside pickup. Ja Jackson and made him some coins. Uh, I made sure he got his mask on and everything. You know, we using our gloves and everything. You know, we doing it right over here because you know we ain't got time for nothing. So uh, yeah, if Jackson do, we do the curbside pickup. You no, know, everybody in their individual cars. I gave everybody a time to come pick up their food. So everybody has a time when they come and pick food up. So it won't be overcrowded with people. And then they don't even got to get out their cars. They still in their cars and they just come to you. And say, I made your recipe. You got a time. I know, right? <laughs> but it's going to be good this week. So next week, I think I am doing spare ribs. Uh, I'm going to do ribs and um, ribs, baked beans, and potato salad next Sunday. And cornbread because you know you gotta have some when you got baked beans and ribs you gotta have cornbread. So next week, I know never doubt your skills, but you know it's hard. It's it's it. You get I, I have anxiety. That's no thing. I just tell y'all everything. I have anxiety issues. I deal with. I have anxiety attacks. And it's no medicine. For, I don't think it's for that. I never looked into it because I don't have them that often. But I have them when I get nervous or when I get scared. Like, I, that's why I don't drive. A lot of people don't know this. I don't drive on highways because I have anxiety attacks when I get on highways. Um, yes, it is, Amy. Yes, it is. Um, so I... um. I have I have anxiety attacks. That's why I don't drive highways. I get nervous and I get scared oh, so, so and I panic. Oh my God! They, yes. For real, that's you know. Horrible. Oh my God! Yeah, I they that's this, happened um, almost every year, every other year in California. Girl, she from Cali. She woke up. She like this is not filter. The whole background where she lived at was like red, like blood red. Oh my goodness, for yeah, real. Yeah. I didn't I know forgot, that was going on. Oh wow. Yeah, she was like, 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 she was like,
Yeah, we most definitely got sin press. It is so much stuff going on, y'all. That's why I said we got to be respectful. We got to be nice to each other. We got to just be there for each other. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, Facebook messaged me for information on how to pick up. Okay, I will. Uh, Jay Savage, it, it's a lot going on. So we most definitely got to send our prayers out to California. Make sure people in their homes and family be safe. And, you know, this is crazy. Yeah, but I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Because I got to do potatoes. I got to go do this cabbage and peel these sweet potatoes. Before being gone. I'm in Washington, D.C. Yeah, Mike, somebody said yes on Wednesday. It was red and orange in the skies. In Cal yeah. That's Northern California. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, bro, it's like a blood. It's like, it's like a I blood did not know that. Like, America needs to pray. Weird. Yes, Lucy. Yes. He really do. We do, Lady D. And, it, and, I, and I don't understand why it's so hard cause to give it. Because it's just all about respecting one another and, and knowing boundaries. You know what I'm saying? That's why, I don't know, that's why it's so easy for me just to like people and get along with people. Because I look at myself in the eyes of these people, of other people. If that was me, how I, how I want to be treated. And that's just how I live my life is on just treating people well. Because I want to say, I want people to treat me well. And I feel like you give off that, you'll get that back. I don't know. And, you know, I know, and I know all of us cannot be the same. But, yeah. So, guys, let's wrap this up again. Holidays coming, birthdays coming. If you guys want an infinity, uh, infinity necklace. You know, I'm always promoting something, right? <laughs> but it's going to be in the description below. If you guys want an affinity necklace, bracelet, earrings, um, necklace, bracelet, earrings, what else? You want photos. They do photos. Yeah, guys, get it. This is the company right here. And if you do a $20, $20 plus, you'll get 20% off, guys. Everything will be in the description below. Like I said, this one mine it says Soulful Tea, Rose Gold, um, White Gold, um, um, Yellow Gold. And again, it takes three to five days to customize it, seven to ten days um for shipping. And it's well worth it. Like I said, I got some coming from all the family. My granddaughter's getting the necklaces, I'm getting the bracelets and everything. Guys, I need a car, SUV. So, yeah, guys. I need a car. It's upside down again? Oh, Jesus. That's what I do. I mess everything up. <laughs> there you go. Guys, and then it is. Uh, look at that. And it says soulful tea. I don't know if y'all can see the soulful tea right up in there, right there. Yeah. Yes. But I see you guys tonight. I got a couple of hours. I got to go put some work in. Everything about the necklace for um, Yofini. It's called Yefini. Yefini. Yofini. It's going to be in the description below. Peace and love to you too. I'm out. Have a good one. Five o'clock. So you know YouTube be messing up my notifications. Come check me out. I'll be live at five o'clock. See you guys.